Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. If you're tuning in on this video, you already know what we are gonna do today. We are gonna take a look at the next five tracks on the PvP track, and we are gonna start off with track 125 with checkpoint one shattered heavy gauntlets of the century, full constitution, heavy gloves with elemental aversion and empowering breaker so receive 3.8 percent less damage from ranged elemental attacks pretty uh good one so this would work out really well for a heavy tank set and they're both not for pvp so you can actually use this piece for pve as well it does miss uh even eventually a third perk and maybe even a weapon talent so uh yeah not something i would pick up yeah by now you know if it's not like a named item or if it's not a legendary item i'm not really interested in it because there's better but if you're starting out it's not it's not bad for a starting tank setup we got a small judah potion pack in tier four and we've got a small bundle of coin eight thousand eight hundred and twenty five so i'm gonna pick the coins we got large pile of faction tokens so six thousand five hundred tokens for two thousand eight hundred pretty good deal Large Superus Potion Pack tier 5. Yeah, here we go. That's uh, what's in there. And Umbral Shards. So 1500 for 10,000 is definitely always a good deal as well. So I'm going to pick those up. Three vials of Azot Salt. Oh, so 3,000 Azot Salt for 500 is the best deal of Azot Salt that you can get in these PvP tracks, guys. So yeah, definitely going to pick this one up. As we have the prestigious Idolator Scowl of the Soldier Light Headwear. With refreshing and resilient uh, full intellect light headwear so will work out for a light fire loadout or ice gauntlet loadout of course and we got the salamiders head the rest of the soldier medium headwear with physical aversion and resilient so i'm gonna go for the three vials of azot salt because that is gonna help me replenish a little bit by three thousand right let's buy and complete track 126 and move on to 127 so far nothing really shiny uh in this track so we got track 127 large bundle of faction tokens and that is 4400 large bundle of coins 1006.25 and the solemnizer's boot of the sage focus with freedom and resilience it is medium though so that is not all that good uh you rather have light leg wears so we can actually go for the medium uh pants or the medium chest i think you can still do like medium boots and medium hands and still get like around the lower tiered threshold for light loadouts but it, it usually you go for the lights uh light boots but still freedom and resilience both on the same boots guys this would be a piece i would pick if i don't already we basically have freedom and resilience boots right we got a large judo potion pack tier four here a large pile of faction tokens 6500 and medium astra push pack tier 5 we've got the brash conscripts rapier of uh rapier of the ranger <laughs> uh, we got a purifying crits and soldering ripper stay ripper stay inflicts rent reducing armor on the target by 23 percent for 10 seconds really good skill there purifying crits though <laughs> remove one buff from the target 10 second cooldown the buffs is like only buffs that weapons will apply it's not food buffs it's not uh like flasks or anything else it's just anything that weapons will apply or specs or talents will apply uh we got scheming champions hatchet of the soldier strength with keen and vicious keen does not need to be on there uh you only need vicious and then basically a weapon perk so overall not not really that good and large heap of coins so yeah overall uh you guys know already what i'm gonna go for coin coin and am i gonna go for no i'm running i'm running faction missions right now so let's pick this up 127 complete on to 128 and i'm gonna keep pushing so we can actually try to take over weaves fan here first glance track 128 is looking juicy so checkpoint one we've got large astro potion pack tier of five a thousand five hundred umbral shards for ten thousand always a good deal and prestige solemnizes gloves of the soldier Sur shuriken fortification and resilient shuriken fortification did get a downgrade though uh, resilient is always good right but yeah no third perk no weapon perk on there so not something i would pick up humble shards i am gonna buy of course we got two vials of azot salt so 2000 azot salt for 500 always a really good deal small ruby potion pack tier five 
and the Enchanted Tides, a pants that has returned for at least seven or eight times already. So we are gonna go for the two vials of Azot Salt. I'll show you Enchanted Tides in a second when I open my vault and show you what the third perk is. We got the prestigious Idlayer Shirt of the Century, Refreshing Invasion and Resilient. Refreshing Invasion is a pretty good invasion, uh, a pretty good refreshing actually, especially for players that play like Dexterity, because Dexterity has a lower cost on the dodges, meaning you can do three dodges in your stamina bar, while other players can only do two dodges. So you're gonna get more out of this refreshing evasion if you actually play like bow, musket, rapier, anything that's dexterity wise. So not bad for a piece. Uh, it's constitution, light chest wear though. So you're gonna need to pick up a medium pants to actually make a light loadout, but still pretty good piece. We got a small heap of fraction tokens to 7,500 for 3,490. Not too bad. And then here we go, Vengeful Champions, Great Axe of the Soldier, a legendary Great Axe. It's been a while since we've seen a legendary piece of armor or weapon actually in here. We always see like the uh, epic ones that we can change into legendary, but not really uh, like instant legendaries. So flat stat strength, always pretty good. Retaliation, 15% damage for two seconds after taking a hit, so pretty good. We've got Vicious Critical Damage, really good. Refreshing Charge, hitting a target with Unpredictable Strike, reduces its cooldown by 53%, one hit max. So basically the cooldown is gonna be halved every time you hit an enemy with it. Not every time, only one time, because one hit is the max. But the second you get hit and you're gonna retaliate, you're gonna basically do 15%, increase damage for two seconds. You're gonna do 11% critical damage on that 15% extra damage. And you're going to lower the cooldown if you do a refreshing charge on it. And then we got Healing Empowered. Gain 15% in power for 5 seconds on a critical hit. So overall, this would definitely be like a great axe that I would be using. It has weapon uh, weapon perk on it. It has fishes on it. And it has Healing Empowered on it. And it has a good game on it. So basically, you don't need to change anything. So definitely going to pick this one up. 15,000 is a pretty, pretty big deal. But uh, we just spent a lot for the Gypsons as well. Let's go to the storage and look at these enchanted tights, what they actually are. So we are gonna, uh, yeah, we'll do my inventory management. Every time I open inventory, it's like, yeah, let's do some inventory management. And yeah, I know I have got a lot of uh, items on me. So last stand should be constitution and then the enchanted tights. No, that's white. No, where is enchanted tights? Where the hell is it? the march am i actually this possible that it's in another inventory because it's already 625 like i got a different inventory for pieces that i actually want to bring to 625 and here we go um so constitution shuriken heals pretty good refreshing really good resilient really good so overall really good piece of gear guys for track 129 we got a small bundle of coin 825 medium astro potion pack tier 5 and the prestigious idolator's glove of the soldier resilient with empowering breaker when your attacks are blocked gain a stack of empower so light gloves would work for a light loadout if you're going uh, for a pvp sword and shield build of course and empowering breaker is a pretty good one i do have to say especially well if a lot of players are hitting you uh, for checkpoint 1, I'm gonna go for the coin, of course. For checkpoint 2, we got the Cruel Scons Conscripts, a Bow of the Ranger, Dexterity with Exhausted, Exploitation PvP only, hits against Exhausted players, inflict slow, reducing movement speed by 15% for 4 seconds. Pretty interesting perk, and Enchanted, you can never go wrong with Enchanted, right? We got a small pile of coin, 1062, and small brown potion pack, tier 4. I'm gonna go for the coin. Champions, a Buckler of the Soldier, Strength, uh, Flat Stat, Diminishing Shield Bash, Refreshing Evasion, and Keenly a Power. It is a 600, so basically it should be a legendary piece, but it's not a legendary piece. It has three stats, but yeah, not legendary. Diminishing Shield Bash, bash is, well, non-consumable buffs means um, every, every buff that the player puts on him, like um, Empowerment or... Whatever, Refreshing Invasion, yeah, pretty interesting build, though. Yeah, you, could, you could work it together with the gloves, I guess. Medium Heap of Faction Tokens, 8,500, and Procedures Shattered. Crown of the Century, Constitution, Elemental Aversion, and Resilient. Heavy Headwear, 
elemental version is really really good guys especially now that fire uh the fire staff has been like uh bis and everybody is basically using it so overall pretty good wear but it's a heavy one so not something i would pick up so checkpoint three i'm gonna leave open let's complete the track and move on to the final track of this episode 130 and for the final track of this episode, track 130, we've got a medium Judah Potion Packet tier 4, a Ruby Gypsum. So yeah, 4, 400, 400 for 8,000 is just way too, way too low, guys. As we can get 1,500 for 10,000 in here, Umbral Shards, but only 400 out of a Ruby Gypsum that you can get for 8,000 is just way too expensive. Uh, medium bundle of coins so I've, i'm of course gonna go for the coin we got a small pile of faction tokens 4500 for 2100 we got a prestige solemnizes leggings of the scholar intellect with refreshing ward and resilient refreshing ward is only good for sword and shield guys and well if the guy uh, it well it has a resilience on it so it's only good for pvp sword and shield if the enemies actually are hitting your shield while you're blocking else it's kind of a pointless perk we got small ruby potion pack tier 5 so nothing in checkpoint 2 that interests me we got checkpoint 3 a uh, small heap of coins 1425 pretty interesting personally we got shattered crown of the sage heavy headwear focus so healing freedom and leeching crosscut so it has a great sword perk but then with focus for healing and freedom on it so yeah not gonna go for that and prestigious solemnizer boots of the scholar medium footwear intelligence flat slat, diminishing orb resilient and invigorating so overall not too bad diminishing orb is pretty good you're gonna need intellect to work with a void gauntlet build anyway but invigorating it's not bad but right now the, the it's it's just you need you need you need the elemental aversion guys elemental aversion is key in this in this patch but for 15,000 something, I'm probably not going to use because it's medium. Meaning that you can not... You can still work it in a light loadout if you go with medium hands and medium footwear. But then it would be a lesser light loadout. You can use it in a medium loadout. But yeah, you'll be losing damage. I, I don't know. It's, it's not something I would pick up honestly, normally. So I'm kind of doubting the coin or the... I'm going to go for the boots. You never know when uh, invigorating actually becomes like the main perk to use on your... And diminishing orb on boots is actually pretty good. Non-consumable buffs. And it has resilience on it. So overall, I'm going to flat tap my Azot salt. So I'm going to need to start using my flasks there. And there we go. Completed track 100. And that is going to wrap up this episode, guys. Let's sit around down like we always do and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression, my PvP track, uh, well, basically my look into the PvP track and what we getting or any other game I might play on my channel, guys, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.